welcome from Center for Himalayan Geology, a unit of Environment Policy Group in association with J&K Tourism Department, presents to you the Guryul Ravine. 252 million years back, this entire area was a sea. And there is a bifurcation between the two geological systems, Paleozoic and a Mesozoic. This is a Mesozoic. And this system is known as PT boundary. World over, International Stratigraphic Commission has recognized this as a PT boundary for all purposes of geological interest. Geologically, this is known as the Vihir district. Vihir district, it starts from Pampor and ends up at a crew. It's a, a little bit six kilometer far off distance from this area. So this area is the repository of the systems of the geological systems which prevailed and PT section boundary is just at my back. This is a very important study where 28 universities are at present currently doing their research job. Not only that we harness the environment but we are trying our level best that scholars, students and uh, scientists should come here and explore their ideas within these mountains. The locales as you see and the environment as you see, waterfall here by a camping site, a trekking site and everything, cycling, everything is possible along with the uh, hitchhike. We invite students world over to come here for a peaceful uh, interaction with our students here so that an international peace is established throughout the world. Equally, the life which evolved here it moves then beyond, at 50 million years, we got an interaction of a mountain building, which resulted into the formation of Kashmir Valley, an intra-mountain basin between 140 kilometers and 40 kilometers wide. It started right there. So it was only 50, kilo, uh, 50 million years back it started. Well, uh, the uh, shifting of Indian plate with Eurasian plate. That resulted into the formation of Himalayas, Zanaskars, and in between we got the Kashmir Valley. This is an ammonite fossil, which are present here in Palenti. And a study of this type of uh, fossil is being done by a number of universities at present. And mostly they are being done by European countries and America as well. Two major events have taken place. World's first mass extinction. That occurred here, and that is the repository here, well, well, uh, layer by layer, everything is recorded here. Then at my back, you find those layers, that knocking layers, they represent this uh, world's first tsunami. This is very much recorded here. You can see the layers of uh, ripple marks and all that things, which uh, sea was presenting, and the sea deposits where narrative conditions prevailed. <laughs>